And this is one in which I've taken two positions on these teams and how they're going to fare this this year. Arsenal have had back-to-back uh, fantastic seasons. Unfortunately, you look at last season, they took the race right down to the final weekend of the season uh, with Manchester City eventually winning the title. Um, I like the plus money this this year on Arsenal to win the title. Now, a lot of people are going to say, are you kidding me? Are you saying you are going to take Arsenal because it's a Man City a, a stacked team, but uh, a little bit, you might see just a little bit of regression from the Manchester United team. I'm talking about the title before I get into this game uh, very quickly. Uh, and then there's something looming large in the, in the Premier League, whether you want to believe it or not, Man City fans, is that they face 115 different charges uh, with the fair, fair play rules, and they could be docked points. That won't happen until early 2025. But we saw it happen to Everton last year. They were docked 10 points. If you dock any points from Man City this season and Arsenal plays like they did last season, they're going to win by default uh, unless Liverpool can, can, can have a fantastic season. Now you look at this game and there's you look at the line and this, this, this line is it's a huge line. Uh, it's unbettable on the money line. It's minus 650 on Arsenal right now. They're getting all the money and it's because they've had fantastic starts the last two last two seasons you look at you go two seasons back and they finished uh their first 30 days there were five wins and one loss in their first six games out of the gates last year five wins one draw out of the gates it's a uh, quick starting team Mikel Arteta has really got this team playing some fabulous football and uh, a couple additions to this team they are healthy going into this season, and they're playing extremely well. You've got Wolves, and that's another position I've taken. This is a team that finished 14th or 15th last season. Uh, they lose Pedro Neto. He's no longer on the team, so that hurts their offense somewhat. And they haven't really brought in any players to fill the voids. This is a team that I think is going to regress and is likely at the end of the season going to be in that relegation battle uh, in one of those seven, uh, 18, 19, or 20th spots and could get sent down to the championship um i just don't see how this team competes this year and out of the gate i can't see them competing now how do you play this you can look at the goal line the goal line is pretty high at, at minus two minus two and a quarter uh arsenal to win to nil which means arsenal wins the game and does not allow a goal is minus 150 and arsenal home are a heavy possession team so it limits the amount of chances that wolves are going to have Wolves struggled to score against the top uh, four teams last season, and it's going to happen again uh, this year and, and right out of the gate. One way of looking at this, though, is, and I always talk about saving a little bit of juice where you can. Uh, because of the fact that Arsenal win to nil is minus 150, you can, you can take the Wolves team total under half a goal, and it's minus 140. Now, you might not think there's a big difference, but you save 10 cents VIG on a play, throughout the year and it uh, does wonders for your for your bankroll how these two teams fared the last three years arsenal's completed the double in each of the three years uh, completing double means of won both home and away game fixtures in each season the last three years a six and oh run for them it continues on uh saturday morning uh, arsenal win to nil but the better option here is just take wolves team total save 10 cents juice and take under half a goal Minus 140. I want to ask you, though, you said something that, that stood out to me. You said minus, the, the chalk here is unbettable. You can't lay minus 650. You can't lay $6. Why not? If they're going to win, if you're confident that this team's going to win, why wouldn't you say, yeah, it's okay to lay minus $6 here. This team's going to win. Uh, can there be value ever with a, with a, with a 5 or $6 favorite? Some some fair some fair better in that spot, Teddy. I I don't uh, I don't normally lay. I would rather lay a handicap uh, with with the game than the, lay the minus uh, lay the minus six fifty. I I just think that uh, if you lose one of ten games, you're still eking out a profit. But uh, if you lose that one early on, it's obviously detrimental to your bankroll. And uh, and if you can't practice proper bankroll management you find yourself uh, trying to get that that money back quicker than you should be. And you get into a, I think you get into a bigger hole. There's some guys, uh, and there's some wager talk guys, who I'm not saying lane minus 650, but I'll, I'll go to hockey for, for, for instance. Brian Leonard can find plays and has a, a very high hit rate 
on taking uh, finding plays where he thinks minus 200 has value because the line should be at minus 250, 260, and he hits regularly, year in and year out. Uh, guys can do that. I can't, so I stay away from it. 